Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Yes, y'all. This is day three. Listen, I've been going strong and y'all been showing up. So that's all I could ask. Um, today, I think it's going to be a really good message as well. 15 minutes of motivation. 31 days towards nothing missing, nothing broken. 31 days towards a better start. Um, my whole goal is we're, drawing, we're just going to get whole and complete. We're not going to focus on one area of our life heavily. We're going to focus on it all. And as a result, we're going to get free. We're going to get healed. Uh, we're going to get rich. We're going to get uh, delivered. We're going to get all those things. Nothing missing, nothing broken. That means everything that's for me, I'm coming after it. Right? So good morning to y'all. Y'all popping in, y'all popping in, y'all popping in. I'm over here on Instagram also if y'all wanted to hop in over there. But today, I think we got a really good message, y'all. Today, the message is fully activated faith. Fully activated faith. So the scripture that I'm basing what I'm uh, speaking about today is James 1 and 6. Right? It says, but he must ask in faith without doubting God's willingness to help. For the one who doubts is like a blowing surge of the sea. Hey, Christina. But I also want to give it to you in different transitions or translations so you can get an even thorough understanding. So in the Amplified Version, it says, but he must ask for wisdom in faith without doubting God's willingness to help. For the one who doubts is like a blowing surge of the sea that is blown about and tossed by the wind. For such a person ought not to think or expect that he will receive anything at all from the Lord. Being a double-minded man, unstable and restless in all his ways, in everything he thinks, feels, or decides. That was the Amplified Version. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. The Message Version says, if you don't know what you're doing, pray to the Father. He loves to help. You'll get his help and won't be condescended to when you ask for it. Ask boldly. Ask believingly without a second thought. People who worry about their prayers are like wind whipped waves. Don't think you're going to get anything from the master that way. Adrift at sea, keeping all your options open. Listen, y'all. Fully activated faith. Now is the time that your faith should be fully activated. So you may be like, well, Tanisha, what is faith? What is faith? We throw this word around, but what is it? I like to know what I'm talking about. Faith is confidence in God's ability and his desire to help you, to sustain you, to keep you, to cover you, to provide for you, to love you, and that he wants the best for you. That's faith. You have confidence in that, meaning you rely on that. You rest assured on that. You go to sleep at night with get good sleep knowing these things. You have an assurance in God. We have to get to the point to where we just believe God for what he said. That's why reading your word is so important. Because if you go back and you read your word, you learn a lot about God's character and how he has helped his people since the beginning of time. He consistently has sustained us or his people, he has consistently provided for, he's consistently covered, and he's consistently loved his people. That's why reading the word of God is so important, because you come into a knowledge of who is this God that we say we serve. We say we serve him, but if you don't know who you're serving, then how are you actually serving him, right? There's four kinds of faith. There's dead faith, talked about in James 2 and 17 which faith without works is dead. There's demonic faith. That's when we rely on our own intellect and worldly knowledge. 
There's saving faith, John 3 and 16, whosoever shall believe shall be saved. And then there's active faith, faith the size of a mustard seed. If you say to this mountain, be cast into the sea, it will be cast into the sea. So what am I talking about today? I'm talking about that active faith, that faith that really shifts things in your life, that faith that speaks to the mountain and tells the mountain, hey, be cast into the sea. And this mountain is actually cast into the sea. That problem is actually overcome. That obstacle is actually resolved, right? So I want to take you back to high school for a moment, right? When I was in high school, they used to do this experiment. They would have a beaker and it would have peroxide in it, right? When you look at it, it looks like water. It's very tranquil. It's very calm. There's nothing too much going on with it. But then they would pour some baking soda into the beaker. And when they poured the baking soda into the beaker, it became a violent chemical reaction right? Bubbles start going everywhere. Vapor start going everywhere. A sizzling sound. There was foam, all kind of stuff because it was fully activated. It became fully activated. May I submit to you that sometimes our faith is just sitting there dead, not moving, no motion, but then something has to hit our life to activate our faith. Mm, I'm going somewhere. Sometimes we need some baking soda circumstances to hit our peroxide life in order to produce a chemical reaction called fully activated faith. <laughs> in the Bible, there were several situations where people's faith had to be fully activated, right? I'm going to give you some examples. Jacob wrestling with God. His faith was activated in that moment. He knew he had to hold on and not let him go until he received his blessing. Jacob's faith was being activated in that moment. The thief on the cross next to Jesus, he sees Jesus dying, but he says, hey, if I can, can I be with you? And in that moment, it looked like Jesus' death was the only thing that was going on. But the thief was being repentant in that moment. And he had faith in Jesus in that moment to believe that, hey, can I go with you? Can I go to heaven with you? Can I be a part of what you're doing? His faith was activated in that moment. The walls of Jericho, they had to walk around and walk around and not say anything. You know how much faith you got to have to just continuously walk around a building, not necessarily knowing what's going to happen at the end of you walking around it. And then at the end, they tell you to just shout. They don't tell you to go in and take the city. They don't tell you to go in to be aggressive. They just say, hey, shout. And when they shouted, the walls fell down. That's the kind of faith God wants us to walk in. We don't know what's going to happen next, but we know we listen to God. We hear God. And as a result, we get we get results. We overcome our problems, our obstacles. Another example of faith, the woman washing Jesus's feet. Everybody's looking at her like, who are you? And, and, and you know, you're not supposed to come in here, but she came in here and she washed his feet because she had faith enough to know that this man is the Messiah. This man deserves my worship. This man deserves my David and Goliath, another situation. David this small, Goliath being this small. But David said, you know what? My God, the God that I serve, he's getting ready to anoint this little itty bitty rock. Yeah, I know. You got to, and I'm just using, <laughs> using examples. You got this big old sword. You got this big old sword and you're going to come after me. And I just got this little rock. But I have enough faith to believe that when God puts his super on this natural, that I am going to be able to, let me do it, turn it and pow. That's the kind of faith that David walked in, y'all. I feel this. The Red Sea parting. The children of Israel are between Egypt and this big Red Sea. Now, I know I don't have on any scuba gear. I can't breathe underwater. I'm not a fish. So how am I going to get through this situation? But in the appointed time, when Moses said, let there be a split between the Red Sea, a split occurred at the appointed time. This is faith in action. 
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in a furnace that has been turned up seven times hotter. It's not a regular kind of heat. I don't know about y'all, but I've been in some hot situations in my life. I've been in some hot situations just this past week. This past month, I've been in some hot situations. And the fire seemed like it was very, very hot. But then they said one man, when he looked into the fire, he saw... He saw Jesus there with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I don't care how hot your situation gets. You can that God is going to show up in that situation with you. I don't care how hot it gets. I don't care how hot the, the temperature gets turned up. God is going to come see about you because you are his child, because you believe in him, and because your faith is being fully activated. Abraham and Isaac, another instance of faith. Abraham's taking his son Isaac up to the mountain to be crucified because God said to do so. That's an active kind of faith. But when he got there, there was a ram in the bush. God maybe just wanted to see, are you able to give up those things that I've given? Are you able to give up those things that I have blessed you with? Or have you made them an idol? Are you okay with parting with things sometimes? Or do you feel like, God, I got to have it. I got to keep it. I can't give it up. What is your faith level? His faith was fully activated in that moment. And now let's just talk about Mary. You've been impregnated hmm, with Jesus, the Savior of the world. You have a fiancé who's like, uh, I know I didn't do that, right? You have all these circumstances going on around you. And you choose to believe that this is the son of God. You choose to believe that he will bring peace and, and, and life and hope to this world. That's a faith move that you don't even know how this happened, but it's happening and you just choose to believe. Our faith has to be fully activated, fully activated. And the activation process may sometimes seem bubbly. It may sometimes seem violent. It may seem like it's giving off a gas, but it's being fully activated. So what does our faith look like when it's being fully activated? When the doctor's report says one thing, but you go back and another report has been given. Do you understand when the divorce shatters you? I don't know about anybody else, but I've been divorced. When the divorce shatters you, but God puts the pieces back together. And when he, whoo, and when he puts them back together, they are fully fortified. They are strong, but they still have the capacity to love. They've not given up on relationships. They've not become bitter, but you have been put and mended back together. Faith fully activated is when you're on the verge of repossession and you're on the verge of foreclosure or you're on the verge of eviction, but somehow God gets the money to you. Sometimes God gets the favor to you. Well, we're going to give you some more time to get the money. We're going to give you a little bit more leniency. Matter of fact, we might even repay or re or forgive the debt. That's faith being fully activated. Faithfully activated is when your business completely, I'm just giving my testimony. I can't give nobody else's. When your business completely dries up and you don't have one client in the queue, but for some reason, God says, I want you to shift and do this. And when you do it, the dam breaks and so many clients come that you can't even hold. You don't even know what to do with so many clients. That's faith being fully activated. When fear grips you and keeps you stagnant in your life and you don't want to move forward because you're so unsure or you're afraid of failure or shoot, sometimes you're just afraid of success and you don't want to move, but the fear is just holding you and you're just going to stay still and close your eyes and pretend it's not there, but it still doesn't go away. But then you open up your word and you see something and you read something or you hear a man of God or a woman of God say something that steps you out of that stagnant stagnation and you begin to move and you begin to climb and your feet become like hind's feet and you move from this mountain to this mountain and you begin to overcome and you begin to resolve the problems and the situ situations and the issues. Courage becomes yours. Boldness becomes yours. That's faith being fully activated. Whew. Faith was tested and now it's at. Come on, cousin. Yes. 
when things just don't seem like they will work out, but we stand still and we're not only just standing still, but we're standing still looking for the salvation of the Lord because we have faith and belief that he's going to do it for us. We have faith and belief that he's going to do it for us. That is faith fully activated. Let me give you a news flash. Trials are going to come. Problems are going to come. Issues are going to come. Health reports are going to come. Bad things are going to come in our life. However, when challenges present themselves, know this, that when a challenge shows up, be encouraged in the fact that God shows up too. So when I see a problem shows up, that must mean God is near. He's in the vicinity. He's in my neighborhood. He's getting ready to knock on my door. Don't be afraid. Don't fall back. Don't get stagnant. Don't get, uh, oh my gosh, don't get confused. Because remember, I just said, we got to pray without doubting and not be double-minded. When we go to God, we got to believe that he is who he says he is. He says he is the I am. That means he is I am enough money. I am enough sufficiency. I am the one who will help you in your business. I am the one who can bring that relationship and that marriage back together. I am a healer. Everything you need, he is a I am. <sighs> active faith, active faith, active faith. Real faith says, grant me wisdom in this situation. When you don't know what to do, your faith begins to ask questions. God, what should I do? Where should I go? Who should I talk to? What should I say when I show up to talk to that person? Your real faith begins to activate and move you. Faith says, this is bigger than me. Whatever this is, faith is bigger than me. Faith says, this is bigger than me. But your faith also says, my God is bigger than that. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Faith says, you know what? I can't afford it. I might get evicted. I might this. I might be this. But faith shows up also and says, oh, but maybe we'll get it to where you won't get evicted, that your rent will get paid months in advance. See, we got to expand our mind on who God really is. God is, he specializes in the supernatural. He is a supernatural God. So when you see natural situations, just know that when you pray without doubting, that's the key. God is getting ready to put some super, hmm, he's getting ready to put some super on that natural situation. Do you understand? We don't serve uh uh we don't serve an idol. We don't serve rocks and these ain't rocks, y'all. These are magnets. So don't think I'm over here doing something weird and yeah, I'm not. These are magnets that my son. Anyway, we don't serve rocks. We don't serve crystals. We don't serve trees. We don't serve we serve the living God. Do you understand what I'm saying? That means he created everything you see around you. He created it. We don't serve the creation. We serve the creator. Active faith, active faith, active faith. We're not going to have dead faith. We're not going to be talking one thing, but putting no action behind it. 2022, we're going to put word with action. Word with action. God, use what we're going to do. Active faith, active faith. No demonic faith. We're not going to rely on our own intelligence. Now, I'm not saying go out here and just act crazy like you don't know what to do. What I'm saying is, is that we're not going to rely on man-made intellect. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is what we're relying on. This right here. This is what we're relying on, right? And if it doesn't line up with this, whoever's mouth is coming out of, we're not lining up with it. We're going to politely and lightly and lovingly say, mm, I don't receive that. Mm, I don't agree with that. Mm, that's not for me. And that's okay. That's okay. Faith fully activated. Faith is a force that pushes back against the trials of life. The trials of life going to show up. I'm promising you they're going to show up. But faith pushes it back. Get up off of her. Get up off of her. That's what faith fully activated does. Y'all, I hope this has been good. We choose fully activated faith today. Fully activated faith, not partial faith, not dead faith, not demonic faith, but fully active, living, moving, breathing faith is what we choose today. Ah, 
This is so good to me, y'all. I pray this has blessed you. God, I pray that our faith be fully activated, that we don't operate and flow in, in partial faith or could be faith or would be faith, but we operate in the is faith, the now faith, God. We thank you for it in advance. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, I thought it was going to be 15, but we went seven minutes over. I pray that you have been blessed. Go out today in your fully activated faith, knowing no matter what comes, no matter what comes, God is with me. Amen. Love y'all. And until tomorrow, what is it? Day four? Yeah, day four. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. Y'all been showing up. I'm excited. But until day four, giving y'all big. Oh, if you want the book, go get the book. It's on Amazon. Nothing Missing, Nothing Broken by me, Tanisha C. Lewis. I hope that's because uh, it looks backwards. And anyway, obtaining peace in a chaotic world is a 31 day devotional. If you want to go get it, you definitely can, or you can keep showing up here, however you want to do it. But I believe the book will bless you in your own personal time. So again, loving y'all from afar, giving you a big old hug and until tomorrow. Bye.